have the oldest patient population of any IVF center. So, like many things in medicine, there is no do the same thing rule for every patient. We too sometimes culture the embryos of some patients to blastocyst stage, but there must be a good reason. Obviously, uh, there's an advantage to culture into blastocyst stage because in a way, you're selecting out the strongest embryos. And that's how this whole thing, this whole idea of blastocyst stage culture indeed started. Colleagues in Colorado were the first ones to report on that. And they reported fantastic pregnancy chances by doing that. But what they didn't tell us, but what has since become very obvious, is that they very carefully selected the patients in whom they did this original study. And then something very funny happened. And this is unfortunately something that happens in medicine very frequently, and maybe especially frequently in our field of infertility. People do studies. They have results that make sense, but they do the study in highly selected, in this case in Colorado, it was a highly selected patient population of very good young prognosis patients. And they report those results to colleagues, but they don't report that those results were obtained in such a highly selected patient population. And therefore, colleagues pick this up as general knowledge and use it in other patient populations. And so what happened over the years, after the Colorado group published the initial now famous papers about blastocyst stage culture, a lot of people around the world tried to repeat their results. But instead of doing blastocyst stage culture in good prognosis patients, they did it in general populations, in other words, in unselected patients. And lo and behold, they didn't find that advantage in outcome that the Colorado group has reported. And that is what is happening very frequently. Whenever we look at results in the literature, we have to be very careful. We have to look at the patients and whom the study was done. And if the study was done well, then you accept the results. But only for these patients in whom the study was done. You cannot automatically assume that because it works in one population, it will equally well work in another population. And that's the reason why uh, Dr. Patrizio and I, even though we agree on 99% of things in our field, on this subject, we have slight differences of opinion. Thanks for listening.